Hey, what's going on, everyone? Uh, I'm Patrick Hughes here from Visual Post. And we get asked all the time, you know, we're a completely Mac-based office. How do you do your billing? How do you do your estimates, your invoices, and stuff like that? Well, we use this really awesome program from Market Circle called Billings. Um, so I'm going to give you a little quick walkthrough of, you know, uh, our workflow for it. Um, so the, the first thing you should know is that uh, your contacts from your address book sync up with billing. So, you know, you get a new, uh, you, you've done some work for somebody, you can add their information to address book. So then when it goes time to either send them an estimate or invoice, um, all the information is right at your fingertips, ready to go. So let's say we just, uh, Visual Post had this new client. So I'm going to go down to add client. And it was one Miss Amanda McArthur. I'm going to add her to my clients and once she loads in she I'm gonna put her in the category of cool new client and then I'm gonna switch over to projects so um, we've actually already completed work for uh, Amanda if um, we wanted to send an estimate we would be working in this mode right here but since we already completed it we're gonna be working uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new project and we're gonna call this um, product promotional video uh, okay that looks like I kind of spelled it right I am an awful awful typer speller writer Ugh, awful. that's why I talk that's why I'm a talker okay so I'm gonna hit okay um, as you can see I can add in a whole bunch of different other fields but for today I just need a general uh, just a general project name you can get more specific um, so we have our project and now what we need to do is we need to put in um, what we're billing her for. So you have these things called new slips. Now think of a slip as a line item. Um, what's really cool about billings is if you know um, you have a product or a service that is the price isn't going to change and you know you have multiple cu customers that you're you're billing for you can create a blueprint so whether it's you know uh, a motion graphic spot or you know for us a motion graphic spot or a, a wedding package I can just go in and quickly just add that and that that will already added in um, but for today's case uh, it was kind of custom it was a you know a three minute promotional video so I'm gonna do a custom slip uh, so I click new slip this dialog box pops up and it's asking me, okay, what are we, what are we you know, charging her for? So uh, I'm just gonna give her a general um, line item for the whole entire project. You could go in and for, you know, for video production sake, you could say, okay, shoot, you know, shooting was this much, editing was this much, you know, 3D animation was this much, voiceover was this much. But for, for today's purposes, we're just gonna put in one general line item. Um, promotional video. Um, what's cool is I can go in comments. I could say three minutes. Oops. I could say three minutes, not pound minutes, even though that'd be kind of cool. Um, I could say edited in music, you know, uh, edited in slides, uh, edited in graphics, uh, and all kinds of stuff like that. I can go back over the details, and uh, this is what's really great. I can give it a category. Um, keep you know, so you can search projects by category. Um, what type of line item is it? Is it a time? Is it flat? Is it quantity? If it's a project, is it mileage? Um, for today's purposes, it's just going to be a flat rate. And right here is where we put in our rate, what we would charge her. So it'd be twelve hundred dollars. Um, what's cool is I can go in, I already have my uh, tax set in for Rhode Island, 7%, yeah. And because Amanda is a new client, we give all our new clients a 15% discount. And I'm um, just looking this over, and that seems to be all set. So I can hit OK. And what happens is it pops up right here. Now you can have, you know, 50 line items if you want. Um, but what's really cool is you... Uh, if you need to send specific invoices, say they only want the invoice for the editing, or you have to do, you know, uh, you know, select invoices at a time, you just select the invoice that you want to send it. Uh, you select the, the line item that you want to send an invoice for, and you just click, uh, you just click send invoice right over here. So this opens up. Um, as you can see, you have another area where you can um, put in comments. 
you have this great area up here that shows you all of the templates for estimates and invoices. Uh, the really nice part about uh, Billings is you can create your own custom invoices and uh, estimates. And right here, you know, we can set date, we can set terms if you know it's a net, you know, 30, 60, 90. Um, and what's really nice is we can go in and we can uh, create a folder. You know, if you haven't already created a client folder, um, you know, usually what something that you do in the beginning of a project. And so we're just gonna, you know, uh, go in and create a folder for her. And we're gonna make sure that this invoice gets saved to her folder. Um, yes, we want to send this in an email right away. And then we just, you know, if everything looks good, as far as numbers, you just create invoice. And the big bang outside. And what happens is Billings goes into this account view and it lets you see, okay, lets you see the invoice. It also pops open mail or whatever your mail client is. So you're ready to fire it off to her. Um, and what's nice is when Amanda pays you or your client pays you, I should say, you can, um, you can, you know, put in, mark the account and keep track. So she paid with cash and uh, yeah, she paid the full amount. So awesome. You get this cool receipt. What's nice is you can have the ability to send statements right from here um, and add subsequent payments if you know she put a third down or a, you know half and stuff like that. So that's just a quick little walkthrough of Billings. Let me know if you guys want to see a little more detailed um, explanation of things in Billings. Check us out on Twitter at Visual Post. Check me out on Twitter at East of Prov. And uh, you know, check out, you know, keep coming back to the blog. We're gonna have some some more screencasts and stuff like that. And uh, take it easy.